guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tupo if you're new here welcome 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 please subscribe like comment give me a thumbs up guys today i'm going to show you this easy gorgeous 15 minute rubber band updo so if you guys want to see how i achieve this look please continue watching my hair is already washed and moisturized i'm going to be using my rat tail comb my shine and jam and my rubber bands to achieve this look so what i'm going to do is i'll start by sectioning my hair from ear to ear just a straight line exactly the way i'm doing very very easy guys oh my gosh when i tell you this is the easiest style that i've ever done 15 minutes and you are where out of the door okay sis all right guys so once i'm done sectioning the line from ear to ear i'm just gonna take my scrunchie and secure the rest of the hair in the back and that's about it we are not doing anything else no slick down nothing like that sis what yes when i tell you this is a 15 minute style you better believe me once i'm done securing the hair in the back i'm just gonna start sectioning my hair from my temple so just a straight line going all the way to the middle right there and then i'm gonna take my shine and jam apply it to the scalp just to make sure the line is really nice and clean and juicy or whatever i'm just gonna take a rubber band and secure that side that way i can section the other side as well so together i have three equal sections one two three that's about it that's all we're dealing with today nothing else is okay and then i'm just gonna take a little bit more of the shine and jump just to make sure the line is really nice and clean i'm gonna pull out my baby hairs that way when i'm done we have something to you know work with and look cute or whatever so i'm going to section the first box exactly the way i'm doing making sure it is nice and straight taking my shine and jump applying it to the line as well just to make sure it is nice and sleek okay and straight and then i'm just gonna take my hair clip and hold the rest of the hair away that way i can start working with that little box what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a little bit more of the shine and jam apply it to that box and then i'm going to take my rubber band and secure that i'm going to secure about four or five times just enough that it's nice and snug but not way too tight that it's gonna break your natural hair sis once i secure the hair i'm just gonna section it into two and then give it a little touch take a little bit more of the shine and jam apply it to the remaining of my natural hair and then i'm just going to twist it down don't worry about it if you cannot twist your hair you can actually just piggyback it from one section to the next and then i'm going to do the same exact technique on the second box and then i'm going to take my shine and jump making sure the line is really nice and clean and straight or whatever and then i'm going to secure the rest of the hair away using my hair clip take a little bit more of the shine and jam applying it to the natural hair making sure it is nice and juicy and then i'm going to section my natural hair into two taking the hair from the first section to the second section and then securing that with a rubber band as you guys can see the hair from the first section is secured in between my natural hair sis and this right here is going to make it look really nice the rubber band from the second section is holding all three parts together okay and then once i secure the hair i'm just gonna section it into two and then give it a little tug that way it is nice and tight but not way too tight that you're giving yourself a headache or breaking your natural hair or anything like that sis we want to be looking cute in the streets and not hurting <laughs> once i'm done i'm going to do the same exact thing on the third box so i'm just going to make sure it is nice and sleek the third box is really nice and sleek and then i'm going to section the hair into two taking the hair from the second section to the third section and then securing it with a rubber band exactly the way i'm doing but while i'm still talking sis have you subscribed to my channel don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what J so once i'm done with the first section i'm going to go on the second section guys so what i'm going to do is 
I'm going to take my rat tail comb again and then section the first box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it is nice and straight with the first box from the other section. And then I'm just going to take a little bit more of the shine and jump just to make sure the line is really nice and clean or whatever. Take my hair clip and secure the rest of the hair away. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of the shine and jump, apply it to my natural hair, making sure it is nice and sleek. And then I'm going to take my rubber band and secure it. And once I do that, I'm just going to section the hair into two and then give it a little tug that way it is nice and tight but not way too tight that you're giving yourself a headache or breaking your natural hair or anything like that sis take a little bit more of the shine and jump apply it to the remaining of my natural hair and then i'm just going to twist it down Today's shout out goes to all my new subscribers. Thank you so, so much for subscribing to my channel, sis. Thank you so, so much for taking your time to comment. Thank you so much for binge watching my videos, sis. What? Thank you. After this one, you better make sure you check out the other videos as well, because listen, sis, there are a whole lot of sweet, juicy styles over here, and you are not going to be bored. You're going to be like, what? I'm going to try this one next week. Yes, I want you to try them all. How about that? Anyway, but thank you so, so much for the love, sis. I cannot believe we are here today. And to my OGs, you already know how I feel about you, okay? Thank you so, so much for the support. Thank you for loving me from day one, sis. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are the real MVPs as well. <laughs> So once I do the second section, I'm going to do exactly the same way on the third section. I'm just going to take a little bit more of the shining jam, apply it to my natural hair, section it into two, and then take the hair from the second section to the third section and then secure it with a rubber band. As easy as it sounds, you are done in 15 minutes and you are out the door. Okay, we are saving money in 2022, 2023 and forever since... And then I'm going to do the same, same exact technique on the other side, sis. Oh my gosh. When I tell you this style right here is easy because there's nothing fancy I'm doing on this tutorial right here. I'm just going to give you guys a basic, basic rubber band updo, okay? And we're not slicking down nothing because, sis, some people are like, Tupo, I can do all your styles, but what if you don't want to slick the hair down in the back? And I was like, I'm about to show you because, listen, sometimes I don't feel like slicking the hair down in the back and that's okay. I'm going to secure all three of the strands that are hanging. I'm just going to secure those using a bobby pin with the hair in the back. And that's about it. As I told you guys, we are not slicking the hair down in the back today. It is a quick style that you want to do and you are done. And you already know I got to use my Kiss Edge Fixer and make sure these baby hairs are nice and laid, baby. And I'm going to be using this brush that I got from Amazon. You already know what it is by now. <laughs> So I'm just gonna take the styling strips and make sure the hair is nice and laid. I'm gonna be using this fancy silk scarf, and this is from our website. You better check us out. Support a sister, buy a scarf or two, sis. I have a whole lot of scarves on there, sis. You better make sure you check us out. All right, guys, so I'm going to be using this ultra expression here, and this is color number one. It comes three in a pack, and I'm going to be using all three pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of the pack exactly the way I'm doing. So it does come with a little rubber band on it. So I'm just going to place it on my natural hair on that little puff that I have on that little ponytail in the back. Section it into two and then I'm just going to twist it all the way down. Exactly the way I'm doing sis. Very, very easy. Oh my gosh. How many times am I going to say this video is easy? When I tell you it is easy, believe me. Because listen, when I was doing this, I was like, listen, I wanted to do something that's really, really easy. That's beginner friendly that anybody who has never tried any of my styles can actually do sis okay just twisted the other two on the side so together i have three twists okay so i'm going to start working with one of the twists which is the one on my head right about now and then i'm just going to start making this into a bun making sure i'm hiding my natural hair and then using my bobby pins to secure it 
gonna take the other one and place it on the side exactly the way I'm doing and then use a bobby pin to secure it. Just make sure it is nice and hiding my natural hair as well. So that's all we're trying to do right about now. So I'm just gonna take the other piece and place it on the other side as well and that's about it. Sis! The whole point for this tutorial right here is to make sure my natural hair is nice and hidden. That way the only part that's showing is the nice little boxes on the front sis, okay? Um, baby! When I tell you this two for one signature crown came all the way through, yes, sis, I am living for this two for one signature crown situation going on. And let me know if you guys are feeling it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying it. Let me know if this is a high style or whatever. Cause listen, 15 minutes, I was done. 15 minutes is the max for this style. When I tell you, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it too, sis. <laughs> As you guys can see those little boxes came all the way through and this style is easy nothing fancy just a cute little abdu <laughs> Alright guys, so let's get to style number two. So I'm going to be using this sensational instant weave. And um, when I tell you, I love this hair right here. I'm just going to open the box and it does come really nice, well packaged. So this is in color number one. I'm just going to take the little mesh cap that it comes with off, okay? And then I'm going to cut the little string right there. You know, just fluff it out a little bit. Oh my gosh. It does have three combs in the front and one comb in the back and a drawstring. So I'm going to be using this olive oil shine and make sure this hair piece shines really nice and bright. And I'm going to start with the middle comb first and then the side comb. And then I'm going to place the comb in the back and then use this drawstring just to make sure everything is nice and secured. This little afro came all the way through. I am loving this little afro situation going on and let me know if you guys are loving it Let me know if you guys are going to be trying it. Let me know if you guys think this is a hot style as well This is cute. You can actually rock this with different types of styles Let me know if you guys want me to do a whole lot of styles with this afro pop situation going on Baby, when I tell you this little afro situation is the business. Yeah, I love it. I am feeling good. All right, for style number three, I'm going to be using this afro hair as well. And this is more of a twist style kind of situation. It does come with three combs in the front as well and one comb in the back and a drawstring just for security sis. And I'm just gonna do the same exact thing. I'm going to take it out and then use my spray just to make sure everything is nice and shiny. And I'm going to be using the middle comb first, you know, to secure it and then the two combs on the side and then one in the back and the drawstring as well. <laughs> And you know, I'm not even doing too much. I'm just gonna use my fingers to fluff it out. And baby, when I tell you, this afro came all the way through as well. <laughs> and let me know if you guys are feeling it. Let me know which one is your favorite. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for all the love. I cannot believe we are here today. From the bottom of my heart, I want you guys to know that I appreciate each and every one of you for taking your time to like my videos, to comment, and to even subscribe, sis. Make sure you're sharing these videos with your cousin, your bestie, your mama, and your aunt, because sharing is caring. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!